We have a very interesting update on the case of Chad Daybell that we've just learned from Idaho. So obviously this case, everyone's been watching it for years at this point, with Lori Vallow Daybell being found guilty last year. The trial of Chad Daybell was supposed to start on April 1st. And today, a very interesting turn of events. So Daybell's attorney, John Pryor, actually filed a motion to be removed from the case. So he didn't want to be Chad Daybell's lawyer anymore. The judge in this case, however, said that that was denied, that he has to stay with Chad Daybell. Now, Pryor said that he was actually uh, unable to get paid by Daybell and that he was unqualified to argue a death penalty case. He also went on to say that the state has a lot of attorneys working this and he is working alone in this case. Also saying that he's tried to hire on other attorneys, but at this point, no one will join him on this case. Now, before denying this motion, uh, the judge actually expressed concern saying, if Pryor were to leave the case, then state attorneys would have to be appointed to Chad Daybell's case. And at this point in Idaho, there's a big backlog of cases and the state's attorneys would take a very long time to have to re-prepare for this trial. So that would have pushed this inevitably very far in the future. So at this point, Judge Stephen Boyce uh, saying that this is not going to to be a motion that he is granting. He is denying the motion for John Pryor, Chad Dable's attorney, to remove himself from the case, and the case will continue to go forward on April 1st. So very interesting turn of events in this case, and obviously we're going to keep watching this as more develops throughout uh, the coming months heading up to that trial. So stick with Fox 13 for the latest.